What's up guys? Everybody knows that Google has a load of applications that are available on both iOS and on Android. I'm Mark from Cobb of the Glass and I'm here today to show you just a couple that I didn't really know that Google done and that you might not know they've done either but can come in real handy for certain situations. Okay guys, so what I've got in front of me at the moment is all the Google applications that I have on my Android device. Now so you've got some that you are all going to be aware of. You've got Chrome, Gmail, Maps, Messenger, Google Play Music and obviously things like YouTube as well. But there are some apps that you may not know that they actually done. Now the way that I found these is if you go into the actual Play Store itself or even onto the iOS, the App Store on your iPhone or iOS device, if you then search for something for instance like Google, then what it's going to do is going to bring up obviously some recommendations for what it thinks you're going to be searching for. If you then click on one that is made by Google Inc, which is obviously Google Incorporated, and then if you go down to the bottom, you'll see a section here that says more by Google. And if you could just click on that, it'll take you to all the applications that Google actually have, that they make, and that you can download for your Android device. Now, as so you go through this list here, you'll be able to see some that you may not have seen before, or that you may have seen before. You've got things like My Tracks, which is a GPS kind of running or walking application that kind of keeps track of your altitude, your speed, how far you've gone. And we've got Google Keep, which is kind of like Evernote, and it kind of is a really nice interface for keeping notes, pictures, voice messages, things like that. Google Currents, which is kind of like Google's own version of Flipboard. And then you've also got something really cool as well, if I can find it, which is called Google Gestures, which is just here. Now, obviously, I've got these apps installed on my device, so we'll just have a quick look at these ones now. So what we're going to start with then is Google Gestures. Now, what you want to do is just click on the app. And what it's going to allow you to do is just basically draw on your screen, and it's going to search your phone for contacts, applications, emails, things like that. Um, really quick, really easy. So what I want to do, I want to search for Angry Birds. I feel like playing some Angry Birds. So if I do the A for Angry Birds, it's going to obviously start filtering things out. I can see it down here. I don't want to click on it just yet, though. Do an M, do a G. And I'll go as far as that. So you can see there that it's really easy to get to what you need to and obviously it kind of gives you some more information down the bottom that you can choose as well. So again, really nice, really quick, easy app to use. And again, you can use it for certain other things as well. Like if I do Google, then again, I can go to Google Plus, things like that. So it's a really quick, really simple app. And obviously all these Google applications are completely free in the Play Store as well, which is really nice. And that takes me on to the next one, which is My Tracks. Now, obviously, if you are a runner or you do like going places and you want to kind of keep track of your GPS location to maybe see how far you run in miles or kilometers and things, this again is a free app from Google that allows you to do that. Now, so there's a lot of fitness applications out there where you have to pay to do certain things, but this one, it kind of gives it to you all in a really nice package, really simple, really easy to use. So, so down the bottom here you have a record button and then you also have a stop button so obviously if you press the record button you can then exit the app, do what you need to do and then once you come back into the app if you click on stop it will then record your journey. Now I've only just downloaded it so I did do a 12 second walk in my flat and obviously it didn't kind of bring up anything, it gave up zero but if we click on that now Again, it's going to kind of give you the information of where exactly it was that you've done that walk. For some reason, it thinks that I'm in Canada. But it kind of gives you the information here. It gives you a chart of your elevation and your speed. And also gives you your statistics, like speed, distance, total time. And it kind of averages everything out. What you can then do, you can upload it to Google Drive. Or there is actually a share button. And again, you'll be able to share all these options. Um, if I just click on Allow. You'll be able to share everything to things like, obviously, Gmail. Uh, you can post it to Facebook. You can post it to Google+, Plus, things like that. So, again, real nice way to kind of let people know what it is that you're doing and maybe just some achievements that you've come through. Now, the next one that we're going to be looking at is Google Keep, which is actually my most favorite Google application in terms of their newer apps. Obviously, Chrome and things have been around for a while. Google Keep, though, I find is really, really nice. So, you can see here that I've saved a couple of things. Uh, I've got some notes that I need to do. I've got some things that I've got on Gum and Amazon for sale to keep track of that. I've just got a couple of bands here that I want to kind of check out as well. But what it also allows you to do is it allows you to take pictures of things and kind of snapshot those. So again, you can use those for later. So if you just click on the camera icon just on the top here, what it's going to allow you to do then is take a photo of something. So if I just take a photo right now, so that's going to be done. Just click on the tick, 
then it's going to allow you to save that photo and it's going to then put it up there. You can add captions, you can add text, and also tells you a time of when you put it there as well. Obviously, when it does do again to, for instance, same time tomorrow, it'll then just have the date like here, 6th of June, 20th of May, and so on. And obviously, in terms of the text as well, you can just add notes real quick, like, hi, YouTube. And then again, just go back and it will save it there. Really quick, really simple to do. One thing that I also really like is it saves voice as well. So it kind of saves it as not necessarily an MP3, but kind of a, a music track, if you were. And it also picks up your voice and changes it and turns it into text as well. So again, instead of having to type things, you can use this option as well to kind of keep track of it. So again, if I just click on this microphone. Hey guys, Michael from Copy of Glass, checking out Google Keep. So again, what it's going to do, it's going to say, hi guys, Michael Coffee Glass, <laughs> checking out Google Keep. And like I say, it kind of saves it down the bottom here, so if you click on play, hey guys, Coffee Glass, checking out Google then you can see that it plays it, and again, you can save that you can change the colour of the actual thing as well. So for instance, if you want certain things to be um, representative of what they actually are, so Amazon have got an orange, Gumtree I've got here in a green kind of colour. This one here where it says hi YouTube, if I just go into this one for instance, you can add a photo to the note you've already took. If you click on this kind of little art palette just at the top here, you can choose note colour. Now see YouTube's main colour is red, so I'm going to save this as a red note. Go back and let's go and then save it on there. So again, really nice, really simple. And like I said, there's a lot of these Google apps that I didn't really know were out there. Um, obviously, some of my other favourites obviously include things like YouTube, navigation, Gmail, Google Earth is really nice. I've now got some 3D mapping on there as well. So like I said, I'm Michael from Cop of the Glass with a quick look at a couple of Google apps that you maybe didn't know were out there. And like I say, if you want to find them, go into the Play Store and just search for Google Incorporated and they'll all come up onto one big list. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.